Hello everyone and welcome back to everythingvm.com. Uh, today we're going to be going over Citrix Zen Server. Uh, Zen Server is Citrix's version of a hypervisor. Uh, basically you've got a base OS based on Linux with uh, the Zen Server software running on top of that which allows you to run virtual machines. So if you're familiar with any of the other offerings such as VMware ESX Server or Microsoft's Hyper-V, it's just Citrix's version of the, that software. So to get a copy of Citrix Zen Server, you just go to citrix.com slash zen server. So citrix.com slash zen server. And this is what the page will look like. Uh, if you scroll down towards the bottom, uh, you can see which Zen Server edition is right for you. You can click on compare. And you can see there's four editions of Zen Server. Today we're going to be using the free version, but uh, this chart will give you a breakdown of which editions have which versions. So if this is for your business, you probably want to consider one of the uh, better versions. Um, that would give you access to things like uh, high availability and moving live machines between servers, etc., which actually is included in the free version. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the previous page and click download now. And when you click download now, you see there's several downloads. Uh, this here is the um, this here is the download you want to use for the Zen Server installer. Um, down below here, you've got Zen Center. Uh, if you're f again, if you're familiar with uh, VMware's offerings, uh, Zen Center is v is Citrix's version of Virtual Center. Uh, so Zen Center is what allows you to, you know, m uh, manage more than one Zen server at a time and handle, you know, moving machines between hosts, etc. So uh, today we're just going to download the installer for Zen Server. You can use the Download Manager by clicking this link here. Or you can download the the uh, without using the Citrix's download manager by clicking right here. Now I've already downloaded the ISO, so I'm just going to cancel this. Now uh, after you've downloaded the ISO, you're going to want to burn it onto a CD, uh, and so that you can actually install it onto a server. Uh, for the purposes of my demonstration, I'm actually going to be running in a virtual machine. Uh, you see here I've created a virtual machine in VirtualBox. Uh, called Zen Server, and I've mounted the ISO that I just showed you onto this virtual machine. So let's go ahead and power on this virtual machine. Here is the first screen you get after you power it on. We just press enter to continue the install. Now like I said, I'm running this in a virtual machine. Uh, you would not want to do this in a production environment. There's no reason to run a uh, Zen server in a virtual machine other than just for demonstration purposes or just seeing if you can do it. Uh, since it's running in a virtual machine, we're going to get a couple dialog boxes uh, related to that. Uh, one of which will be saying that our machine doesn't support the hardware virtualization. Um, and the other I think actually I think that's the only one. I'll, I'll point it out when we get there. So this first dialog box is asking what type of keyword we have. We have got a QWERTY US, so we'll just press enter. Now here it's saying that um, this is warning us that if we inst continue it's going to erase everything on the disks. Uh, we're okay with that, so we'll say okay. We want to accept the user agreement, otherwise we can't install. And here is the dialog box where it's saying we don't have the hardware virtualization uh, because we're running in a virtual machine. So we're just going to say OK and ignore that. And now we'll just say OK to continue. And we're installing off of local media. If you want, you can actually install from FTP, HTTP, or NFS. I'm not going over that today. We'll say OK. And we're not doing any supplemental packs. Those would be such a thing basically Citrix's version of uh, service packs and we're not going to verify the disk because that takes extra time. Now it's asking us what we want our root password to be so I will enter what I want my root password to be on this installation. Make sure to uh, remember this or write it down or 
whatever. Um, now we're going to do a static IP address. You can do DHCP, but uh, typically it's best to do a static address when you're dealing with something such as uh, Zen Server or ESX or whatnot. Uh, I'm going to give it an IP address of 10.0.0.155 with a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0 and my gateway is 10.0.0.1. Uh, I'm going to leave my host name as Zen Server whatchamacallit <laughs> and my DNS server is 10.0.0.1 and now this is our geographical area. Pretty much you select the continent you're on in my case America and then you select a city that's near you. Uh, in my case it's Los Angeles is the nearest city in this list. And I'm going to use NTP to set my time and my NTP server is 10.0.0.1. And the final step is I say install Zen server. So it's going to go through and install and this will take a few minutes to run. Uh, after it's done installing it's going to prompt me to reboot my machine. Uh, after I reboot I will be uh, at the at a screen where I can you know browse my Zen server configuration and such. So I'm going to pause the recording until it prompts me to, re to reboot and then we'll resume from there. Alright we're back as you can see Zen server is prompting us to reboot we're just going to say OK and the server will now reboot. Now once again this can take a few minutes to restart so I'm just going to pause the recording while it restarts and we'll resume uh, uh, when it finishes restarting. All right, we're back. Uh, as you can see, the server has finished restarting. Uh, here we've got our uh, status display. You can see it lists the IP address of the system. We can go through and, and uh, you know, see all the various bits about the virtual machine. Uh, you can do quite a bit of uh, configuration through here, and you know, you'll actually have to come to the screen if you want to do some advanced troubleshooting. Uh, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and install the uh, Zen Center software, or sorry, the uh, Zen Server software. Uh, to, de to get the Zen Server software, you'll want to go to the web page for the uh, Zen Server that, uh, machine that you just created. And here's the Zen, Server inst Zen Center installer. So if you click on that, you can then download the software. It's a 41 megabyte download. and it's finished downloading so now we will double click on the MSI file uh, and that will start the installer for Zen Server or Zen Center. We'll go ahead and click Next Oop. and we're going to install C program files x86 Citrix Zen Center and say install. So now it installs and this takes a moment so once again I'm going to pause the recording until it finishes installing and then we'll resume from there and the install is complete. So now we just click finish and down here on the start menu you notice there's now Zen Center. So let's click on Zen Center to launch it. Uh, after it finishes launching we're going to have to enter the IP address of our new Zen uh, server that we created and then the Zen Center software will be able to manage the Zen server that we created. Uh, it's from the Zen Center software where you actually uh, do all the configurations such as you know creating all the networks, connecting it to LUNs, etc. So um, I've actually had this installed before so I'm just going to remove that. Alright so now uh, in order to add a new server, notice we have none right now, uh, click on add new server and it asks for the server name. Uh, we, we're just going to enter the IP address of the server. It asks for the root username and password so you enter your root username and password and click add and we accept the certificate and the server has been added so uh, from here we could go through and configure the, the server uh, please join us next time and we'll be going over how to configure Zen server uh, thank you very much for joining us